In this video, I'm going to show you how to dive deeper into Edpuzzle and actually embed a video uh, with questions inside of a Canvas quiz so that way Canvas can do the grading and we won't have to go back into Edpuzzle to check our student work. So, uh, how we're going to do this is uh, we're going to go into Edpuzzle just as you saw in a few of the other videos. Uh, with us diving deeper here I'm just going to kind of run through a couple little quick tips and everything um, and that way show you how to embed these videos inside Canvas so again we can let Canvas do some of that grading so we don't have to go back uh, student by student grade some of those and then take those grades and put them into Skyward um, we can try to streamline this and, and make it a little simpler in the process for both the teacher and the student so how we're going to do this is inside Edpuzzle uh, I'm going to be just looking for some uh, dynamic uh, warm-up drills here. So I uh, went into Edpuzzle and I typed in what sort of YouTube search, what videos I'm going to look for, and got a lot of different options here. I'm searching YouTube, and I really like this one here, this uh, acceleration, uh, you know, warm-up drills uh, done by Iowa University. So I'm just going to hover over top of that, and I'm going to say use it. So what Edpuzzle will do is it's going to take my video here and the whole entire video is three minutes and fifty seconds each of these little buttons again uh, I can do different tasks with I can add audio over top of the audio in the video I can uh, add certain notes I can add quiz questions so uh, again as we dive deeper into this I'm going to show you just a little quick tip on how you can actually use canvas to do the grading but still use the features of Edpuzzle to have your students physically stop what they're watching and answer your questions and engage in in some of your whether it's discussion topics or uh, or questions so um, if I wanted to trim I, I can always just go and drag here um, so in this case I'm going to go and add some questions so to make uh, to kind of give you an example on, on uh, you know how this works I'm going to show you another tab where I already set this up here I already started to do my cropping I cropped from the back side here because I only wanted about 229 of this uh, this video so not the you know whole entire thing and you'll see that these little green buttons here uh, this is where questions are going to be embedded now you know in inside of Edpuzzle I can make these very specific questions that the students have to answer in Edpuzzle but if I do want the grading piece to that I'm gonna physically have to get my kids logged into Edpuzzle I'm gonna to have to go through and check each uh, student work um, whereas this little trick that I'm gonna to give to you um, hopefully is something that you can use in your class and that way you use the features again of Edpuzzle but we just embed this inside of Canvas so uh, I'm going to have a question coming up here uh, that's going to ask students what angle should the knee, uh, should the knee here, the hip, and the ankle be uh, for proper mechanics. But instead of asking that inside Edpuzzle, I'm going to simply say, did you answer the question below, yes or no? Because what I'm going to eventually do with this is I'm going to embed this inside of a Canvas quiz. And I'm going to ask in the quiz what sort of uh, you know, I'm going to ask them, you know, this, you know, what sort of angle should the hip, knee, and ankle be, and then allow Canvas to then do the grading for me. So those kids, uh, the students can get immediate feedback, and I uh, can see that as well. Same thing on my second one here. Uh, my question I'm going to ask is, what is really the difference between, uh, or why is this drill considered a dynamic drill and not a static drill? So uh, again, how I, I have my question listed here is, did you answer this question below? Um, you know, it doesn't make much sense right now, but once we see this inside of Canvas, it's going to make a lot more sense. So um, let's say my video is all done, and I'm ready to take my video and put it inside of Canvas. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to click the finish button and once I finish this then it's going to give me some information here but I just w simply want to share this with with everyone. So if I click the share with anyone here I have a link to it but right underneath here I have what's called an embed code. Now if I just simply click on that the embed code is highlighted and what I'm going to do here is copy this embed code and I'm going to bring this into Canvas 
uh, into my quiz so that way the video is physically embedded into the quiz where the students have to watch the video the video will then pause and the students will have to answer my questions inside of the canvas quiz so I can get that immediate feedback so let me show you how this works so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and I'm gonna go into my quiz so I'm gonna go into my course here which I've done already and I've clicked on quizzes so I'm gonna go and add a new quiz so when I add my new quiz here um, I can go and change and call this my dynamic warm-up so my dynamic warm-up here and at a later time I can go and change this so um, I can post my grades and, and put my due date and some of that information but just to show you how this works with the actual embedding I'm gonna go and click on questions because now I want to add some questions and I'm going to add some multiple choice questions so that way my students can can get that immediate feedback so here's my question I'm going to make this multiple choice I have lots of different options depending on what I want to do but in this case like I said I want to do multiple choice so down here uh, is where I can type in some some content so I can tell my kids or my students uh, please watch this video and answer questions below. So now what I can do here is because remember from what we just mentioned a few uh, few seconds ago here we copied an embed code that was an HTML code uh, but right now I'm in what's called the rich text editor I'm not ready to paste in any HTML code because if I just simply paste it looks like this and and canvas doesn't know what to do with this so what I'm going to do is show you how to embed this video by simply going to this little guy right up here, HTML editor. When I click on that, it brings up a bunch of funny looking stuff to people who don't understand HTML. Um, and I don't understand it either, so it's foreign to me as well. Uh, but what I'm going to do is paste in this link. Again, it doesn't make any sense to me, but to HTML, it's going to make perfect sense. And what I'll do is I'm going to click on Rich Content Editor. After I switch back to that, I see that I have a little window here. So what I can do is, I'm going to just update this right now, even though I haven't put my questions or my answers in yet. I'm going to simply click on Update Question. And now, what's going to happen here is for my students, when they play my video, they're going to listen to the actual video itself. And once they come to the question, So here's my question up here. Did I answer this question below? Now, what I can do is I can add my question down underneath this so the video stops, forcing my students to think about what was just discussed. The students then can answer the question inside of Canvas. And then after they answer that question and submit in Canvas, they can go right into the video and say, yes, I've answered my question, and click Submit and Continue. And the video will then pick up right from there. So uh, again, that's how you quickly embed that in. Uh, what I'll do here is I'll show you how to actually add that question, even though um, in our uh, professional development here, uh, online course development, you can always go and, and take a look at the Canvas quiz. We actually have professional development for setting up a Canvas quiz. Um, but basically what we do with this here is we will type in our, our question uh, here and then we'll put our answers down below and then once we save that the students will have the ability to answer those questions inside of Canvas here. We get the immediate feedback right away because it is embedded in Canvas and it's not in an outside site um, and that way our students have that immediate feedback that they can see and we as teachers we know if our students are truly getting this information or or not we can go back and reteach. So that again is how to dive deeper in with Edpuzzle and embed your uh, Edpuzzle videos inside of a Canvas quiz.